Hello, this is Dr. Phil Rosencrantz. This is a video uh, on how to use the spreadsheet for doing the retirement plan project. Uh, this replaces this presentation replaces the old one because I updated the spreadsheet last semester and I think there's just too many changes uh, to use the old presentation. This uh, presentation won't make much sense unless you've watched the four uh, presentations about the project and also have read the detailed instructions about the project. So let me uh, dig in here. Uh, first of all, understand that this template is set up to make all the calculations so that you can just plug and crank and work out a retirement plan that would match your goals and dreams. So even though there are some numbers in here right now for demonstration purposes, do not just grab those numbers and use them uh, for the project. Uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for you to use made up numbers for your retirement project because that won't help you at all. So anyway, um, plus uh, let me say I know what those numbers are and so uh, it won't do you any good. So let me go ahead and move on. The first cell, you see the first part uh, up here. Let me move that over a little. Step one, retirement expenses and estimated income is where you are going to put in uh, what it would cost in today's dollars uh, to live at retirement in the manner that you would like to. What kind of lifestyle you would like, you know, cars, homes, travel, gives entertainment and what you see is the old spreadsheet cell where I used to ask students to estimate those but over time I created another option uh, that we will use instead at the bottom of the spreadsheet you'll see a tab that says annual expenses if you click on that you'll go to the next spreadsheet and if you look at it, you'll notice it's got a very detailed uh, itemized list of expenses that you may have when you retire. Now there's numbers in there, but these are made up numbers. What you have to do is put in numbers that you think would match your annual needs. Now there is one thing I want to point out. At the bottom, there's a line that says Social Security Income. I wrestled with how to deal with Social Security in this this project and on this spreadsheet in the past. And I think the best way is to use it as an offset to your annual uh, expenses. So let's say, for example, that your annual expenses come out to be $90,000, but you get $25,000 social, from Social Security, then we will subtract that and make the annual amount we're going to try and provide for from your retirement plan to be 65,000. Now 25,000 is not too far off from what I get from my Social Security um, each year. It's not as much as you think it is or what you might uh, hope it is, but it's better than nothing. Going back to the main spreadsheet then, just transfer the dollar amount from the annual expenses spreadsheet to cell F22. And then you've got your starting point for retirement expenses. The next cell then is going to calculate how much annual income you're going to need when you retire in order to live at that lifestyle. And you start with an inflation rate uh, and by the way, let me point out, uh, on this spreadsheet, if you enable editing, uh, you'll see little red triangles in a lot of the squares. And when you put your cursor over that, you get a comment box. These comment boxes are very important, so uh, you need to read those. I can tell when students don't read the comment boxes because they do things they shouldn't be doing. So put in an estimated reflation rate. I'm not going to discuss that right now, uh, but 
say 3%, uh, years until you retire, uh, and then it will calculate the rest of this. Uh, you have to put in a tax multiplier, and there's a table that shows uh, what that should be. So it gives you, and automatically gives you first year retirement needed. Now we have to decide uh, what kind of retirement are you going to have in terms of how it's going to be funded? If it's uh, the two major options are a 401k plan and a fixed benefit retirement plan. As I probably explained already, but I'm going to do it again. The fixed benefit retirement plan is what you'll find a lot with government uh, utilities, um, and uh, uh, educational institutions where you put into the retirement plan a certain amount each each month but then when you retire you get a fixed amount based on your age and how many years of service and so it's not based on the stock market or anything like that or investments uh, that's called a fixed benefit retirement plan they have gone away except for in the public sector like um, I said government utilities um, things like that the other option then is the fixed um, contribution retirement plan where you um, save money out of your paycheck into a 401k plan and the employer as a retirement benefit for you matches a portion of what you put in maybe 50 percent of what you put in up to a certain amount or maybe even matches it a hundred percent then your money plus what the uh, employer put in will grow and compound up to um, uh, you know a huge amount that then would fund your retirement now on this step three, this is where if you want to adjust for getting some money from a fixed benefit retirement plan, you can put um, your uh, in the where it says years of service to the company, um, you put in how many years you're going to work there toward that retirement. And it uses a 2% per year rule to multiply by um, the number of years of service, well, 2% times number of years of service uh, times your final salary. So um, that then uh, gives you how much you're going to get from the company. And that may or may not be enough to live off of, but it might fund a huge portion of it. Um, by the way, uh, what I want you to do is use the first sheet of this um, workbook for your fixed contribution retirement plan. So for the uh, fixed benefit plan, copy the entire sheet as you see it and then go to the third tab and that's the fixed benefit retirement plan tab and paste it in there and then use that third uh, or rather that yeah the third retirement uh, the third step three rather uh, to do that uh, calculations for the fixed benefit plan so back to uh, sheet one um, step four put in a percent that you're going to make on your retire retirement fund uh, there's a discussion there then investments are in step five uh, the total percent of investments has to add up to a hundred percent and then it will figure out a composite uh, earnings uh, rate that you'll get for this plan don't use these numbers here please figure out your own numbers to use but it needs to add up to 100%. Finally, in step six, we calculate how much you need to save out of your paycheck. 
and then this is what you're going to use to uh, help guide you on what kind of retirement plan to have. Now the first two cells in step six are uniform annual series or one's uniform annual, one's uniform monthly. These numbers are useless because they aren't realistic but they show you what it would be if you were talking about having a uniform series. The next cell has figured out a savings gradient not how much to save every year for the rest of your working life but what percentage to save out of your paycheck forever. So the first cell here savings gradient percent says that if you want to have $65,000 from your retirement plan, your 401k plan, in after working for 44 years, you need to save up 15.8% out of every paycheck for those 44 years. And if you get your 8.7% return, you'll have enough money. So you have to account for this 15.8%. Well, uh, perhaps you are in a 401k plan and if you're putting in let's say 9.8% and your employee is matching a portion of that, say they're matching around 60% of what you put in roughly, then uh, you and you want to as assume that match is 60% or in this case it's 6% um, then if your Social Security is 6.2% let's say that's a given then um, let me move this over I think I moved out of the way out of the way here then um, the total withheld for your paycheck would be 6.2% plus 9.8% or 16%. So um, that's how much you would need to be saving in order to make this all happen. So let's suppose that you uh, make some assumptions, for example, uh, up here in cell I6, you have a, assume a starting salary of 62000 and you assume a percent annual raise uh, for all reasons. That's for cost of living, performance improvement, uh, promotions, etc. If you assume that for every year, then all you have to do uh, to work on your plan is to change numbers. So let's say for example that uh, the 6.2 percent plus 9.8 percent 16 percent let's say that you think that's too much you don't want to save that much what can you do to change the plan? Well one thing you could do is work longer work more so if you went up to sell F28 and change that to 40 say 46 years it will recalculate everything and we see that that dropped your your savings percent down to 8.1 percent so you can you can manipulate numbers um, to figure out what your retirement plan would be and keep in mind that on this spreadsheet the factors that you don't have any control over are shown in yellow and the ones you either control or have some influence over are blue and pink so just to kind of show you where those might be and what you have to manipulate so you will do sensitivity analysis for many of these variables and if you look at that cell um, in the comment box um, you'll see that there are at least eight listed there that you uh, might want to consider for sensitivity analysis 
if you only do one or two, then you're going to miss the whole point of the project. Um, that's not enough. You need to really understand what is it that's going to affect your retirement. How much will inflation affect it? How much will your percent raise? How much will your uh, rate of return on your retirement portfolio? You know, what about your lifestyle? What is the impact of changes on it to your retirement plan? So anyway, uh, let me let me just add a little personal comment here, and that is. Um, I was able to put into the fixed benefit retirement plan for the California State University for 30 years. Uh, plus, at Cal Poly, well, in the CSU, we also participated in Social Security. And I've been doing that since I was 16 years old. And then I was also putting money into IRAs and uh, 403Bs. Um, and even though I didn't have a match from my employer, I was still putting into those tax-deferred accounts. My wife was putting money into IRAs and into 401ks, and also she's entitled to her Social Security. So by, you know, um, what, not going into a lot of debt and f saving up, we've been able to retire comfortably. And so that's my goal for you is to learn how to be a good manager of your money so that down the road you can do whatever you want to do. It may or may not be to retire, but it may be to do, do something different um, after a certain age. So anyway, that's the goal of this project. And you really need to make sure you put some effort in to using your numbers and your ideas about what you want the future to look like. Thank you. Bye.